currently at the beginning of January, it is 30 degrees outside and it feels like 24 due to the wind that's blowing slightly. Anyway, I'll get back to that in a minute. We've all seen them. They're everywhere. What are they? Internet comments, especially internet comments about weather. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. And today I thought I would take some time and respond to some of the comments I have received. I scoured through some of the comments and found some of my favorites about the hot topic here in my home state of Wyoming, the weather. Let's check it out. The first viewer says, Wheatland to Cheyenne is always blowing when I drive through. Have any of you driven on Interstate 25? The highway runs from the top of our state all the way to the bottom. And this comment made me chuckle. The area between Wheatland and Cheyenne here in Wyoming is known for its very windy conditions. This region is part of the High Plains experiencing strong winds, mainly due to various geographical factors. The prevailing wind patterns in this area can be influenced by the Rocky Mountains to the west and the High Plains to the east. The topography nearby and the relatively flat terrain here create a corridor where wind can pick up speed and intensity, leading to consistently windy conditions along this route. It's not uncommon for drivers passing through this area to experience gusty winds, especially during certain seasons or weather patterns. It's always a good idea to be cautious when you're driving in such conditions, as strong winds can affect vehicle stability, particularly for large vehicles or anyone towing a trailer. Don't I know that? Oftentimes, the interstate will be closed to light and high profile vehicles because of this very thing. If you ever find yourself driving through Wyoming, you may even notice wind socks along the roadway to show just how windy it is. It takes experience to get used to driving in the wind. At times, you really got to hold on tight. This leads us to the next comment. If you love 70 mile per hour winds a lot of the time, Wyoming is your place. Extreme wind. Yes, Wyoming is known for its often intense and gusty winds, especially in certain regions like the southeastern part of the state where wind speeds can frequently reach or exceed 70 miles per hour. These high winds are a characteristic feature of our state. Again, it's the combination of the high plains and the mountain ranges. While these strong winds can be challenging for some, you may be surprised to hear that the crazy winds also attract enthusiasts of activities like windsurfing, kite flying, and even some extreme sports. Wyoming's windy conditions are a defining aspect of its climate and geography, making it a unique destination for those who enjoy or are intrigued by such powerful natural phenomena. We here in Wyoming get a good chuckle when we hear people referring to places like Chicago as the Windy City. Someone else says, having lived in Wyoming for over 20 years, your review was spot on. I'd just like to point out that the cold winter temps are not all that bad because of sunny days and low humidity. What is bad is the frequent wind. Most of the larger Wyoming cities can boast that they are large enough to offer all services, but without the big city problems like traffic. From downtown Casper, you can be snow skiing in 30 minutes or water skiing or lake fishing in about 45 minutes. There's a lot to like. First of all, thank you for sharing your personal experience living in Casper, Wyoming. First-hand insights from somebody who has experienced the climate, the lifestyle, and recreational opportunities that we have in this area are so valuable for understanding what it's like to reside here. It seems crazy, but it feels good to have a little backup. Because if you have been watching for long, then you know that I think this is the best place to be, no matter how windy it gets. I think this commenter is correct. Wyoming's relatively low humidity and beautiful sunny winter days can mitigate the harshness of cold temperatures, making the winter climate more bearable for residents. However, as you mentioned, the frequent wind can be a challenge, impacting day-to-day -day activities and adding a notable aspect to local weather. However, just like other extreme temperatures in other parts of the United States, we just stay inside more when it's windy. The accessibility to various outdoor activities within a short distance from larger Wyoming cities like Casper is a definite advantage. The proximity to skiing and water related activities offers residents a diverse range of recreation opportunities, showcasing the state's natural beauty and the convenience enjoying different activities within a relatively small geographic area. Highlighting the appeal of Wyoming cities, emphasizing the balance between offering necessary services without the congestion and issues typically associated with larger urban areas. The blend of convenience, access to nature, and a relatively quieter lifestyle can indeed make Wyoming an attractive place to live for many individuals, windy or not. Another viewer said, I grew up here in Wyoming. Winters were brutal, 40 and 50 degrees below zero most of the time without high winds. If 
you get a breeze or wind with it, the wind chill factor drives it to 55 to 65 below zero. Now, it's not been like that since Mount St. Helens blew up. I have been back now for 10 years. The last two have been 30 to 50 degrees below zero here in north central Wyoming. I'd agree with the NASA scientists. It looks like another mini ice age coming our way over the next 20 to 30 years, which will be cold. It sounds like this commenter has experienced extremely cold weather through the years in north central Wyoming, especially during the winters. Extreme temperatures reaching 40 to 50 degrees below zero, coupled with the potential wind chill makes it feel even colder, can undoubtedly create incredibly harsh conditions. I did a video last year highlighting one of the coldest years we've had in ages. I'll link that below. Climate patterns can be influenced by various factors and scientists often study long-term trends to make predictions about future climate changes. I have heard many claims that we are getting colder and colder here in Wyoming, but I guess only time will tell. I will just wait for the scientists to tell me more, I guess. And in the meantime, I'll keep bundling up during these cold winter months. Another viewer said, when does it start to snow in Casper? In Casper, Wyoming, the timing of the first snowfall can vary from year to year due to our changing weather patterns. Generally, the first snowfall in Casper often occurs sometime between late September and early November. However, this is only a rough estimate based on historical weather patterns and averages. Having lived here for most of my life, I can tell you that we have had snow in August or like this year, we haven't really had much snow yet at all. And it's already January. I did a little research and found out that Casper's elevation and its location in the semi-arid climate mean that snowfall can come earlier or later in the year depending on the weather conditions of a particular season. Some years may experience earlier snowfall, while in others, the first significant snowfall might occur later in the autumn months or even well into winter. So to answer your question on when the first snowfall in Casper is, it may be easier just to say, yes, it will. So no, you can expect it to come. You may just not be able to know exactly when. Year to year, it is so different. This viewer says, I've lived in Wyoming for three years as of posting, and I don't own an AC unit. To me, it's perfect. Yes, the cold and wind may break you if you are weak. This comment might be considered quite controversial around here. In my line of work, I go into a lot of homes and I can tell you they don't all have air conditioning. Whether you need an air conditioning unit in Wyoming depends on a multitude of factors, including personal preference, location within the state, and tolerance to warmer temperatures during our summer months. Wyoming generally experiences a climate with warm summers and cold winters. In some parts of the state, particularly at higher elevations or in more northern regions, Summer can be relatively mild with cooler nights, making an AC a less necessity. However, in areas like Cheyenne or Casper, summers can bring warmer temperatures, occasionally reaching into the 80s and even 90 degrees, and sometimes even 100 or over 100. If you find yourself living in these regions, depending on your preference, maintaining a cooler indoor environment during the hotter months for both comfort and health reasons is probably important and having an AC unit can be beneficial. I am one of the real estate agents that will tell you every single time you ask me that you need some sort of cooling in your house. While Wyoming summers may not consistently require air conditioning, an AC unit is helpful. And again, there's some periods that are around 90 and 100. Actually, in Wyoming, you can even use an evaporative cooler or also called swamp cooler. My favorite, of course, is central air. This person says, funny, when I visited Wyoming, I was only told there were three seasons, July, August, and winter. Yes, this was another comment that cracked me up. Contrary to popular belief, Wyoming typically experiences four distinct seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, sometimes all in one day. Just kidding. Of course, the intensity and duration of each season can vary across different parts of the state and from year to year. I feel like I've said it already in this video, but keep in mind that weather patterns can be unpredictable and variations may occur from year to year. Wyoming's climate is generally characterized by cold winters with snowfall and wind, with warm summers and relatively mild spring and fall seasons. Spring and fall may be shorter here than in any other parts of the country, but we experience them nonetheless. Winter is long and I can see how someone might feel as though it's the dominating season here in Wyoming. But the spring, summer and fall make it all worth it. This was fun. I think I'll do more of these answer videos. So ask some questions below. I hope you got a good chuckle today and some great information. Wyoming weather is always going to be a hot topic. I think that it is one of the reasons for our lower population. 
you certainly have to be tough enough to make it here in the cold and wind and yet beautiful state. I love talking to all of you. My team and I love meeting you in person, talking to you on the phone and reading and replying to your comments below. We have time for you. We would love to help you find your home anywhere in Wyoming. And if it's not in an area that we service, we will help you find a perfect agent that will work with you. Remember, we want you to love our US. See you soon.